Hello again, it's Rhonda. I am going to try this for a second time. I've been having some real technical problems with my phone um, the last couple weeks. I got a new phone and it's not really driving well with me. So if you're watching this, um, this is my second, my second round. The first time my phone completely just crashed. And if it happens again, then it happens again, and I'll just film a video, and I'll post it on YouTube. But we're going to try again, because I like to spend this time with you. Take two, exactly. Um, I got a new phone, which is a brand new phone. My husband got it for me for my birthday. And it's just, though, it's just not really driving well with what I do. So I have to, I think, go get a different one. Anyway, thank you guys if you're coming back and for being patient with me. My phone just completely crashed. And if it happens again, I am just going to toss in the towel and I'm just going to film a video for you with it. So anyway, today I have a super cute uh, project to show you and one of my favorite new products. And I've been using it a lot so in a lot of my classes. I'm also going to give you a sneak peek to a really special class that I'm offering that's a very limited number. So we're going to do lots of fun things today. Um, hello, everybody who's joining. Thank you. I so appreciate you coming back for the second time. Um, I'm going to turn you down so we can get we can jump in and get started again. If I lose you again, just know that I'm trying my best. Technology is not really being my friend this week. It uh, likes to really push all your buttons. It, it just gets very frustrating when you're not very technically, you know, uh, I'm very challenged that way. I try my best and do my best. So we're going to see. Um, I'm turning you down to my work surface. So hopefully you guys can all see that. And again, I'm so glad you're here. We're just taking a little, a little lunch break. And I'm going to be showing you one of my absolute favorite new products. And when I, it's not a, it's not, it's, not a stamp set. It is actually these um, card bases and envelopes. And so when you get them, you get 20 of them. And I've been using them a lot in my business and a lot just for in, you know, for events. And I, I'm using them in my current um, Creating for Christ class that's available. It makes for such a quick and simple, beautiful, easy card. Isn't that what we're always looking for? At least I am. Some people aren't. Some people are looking for really intricate and detailed and difficult. Just to give you a heads up, that's not me. So you might want to just skip this video and go on to somebody else. But if you're looking for quick and simple and super cute and a lot of fun, and then you're at the right place, okay? And you are, you are my kind of people. So let's jump in. I want to show you, first of all, these are in the catalog. Um, they're, they're in what's called the Memories and More section of our catalog. And it's just, they're called hand penned Memories and More cards and envelopes. And I believe they're $10, but you get 20. And it includes the, the card base and the envelope. Um, and let me show you what I did with them this weekend. This weekend I had, a, a, I did a live event. We had 46 people there and it was a leadership event. So I was working with all leaders motivating them and filling up their cups so they can go and be their team. But Stampin' Up! Uh, gave us this free download. I think it's called Unity and Creativity or Unified and Creativity. Anyway, it's free. And so I used that download along with these card bases to create um, a, these cards. So this one is no stamping. This is all print work. And then all um, we did was um, use our blends to color in. So you can just print this up. Look at this one. It's my favorite. Hang in there. We put some Wink Stella. Anyway, so this is something that any of you can do. The download is free. There's like 18 pages. And then we used these card bases to create the rest of the card. This one says, we belong together. Isn't that so sweet? Like when we need some supportive cards. So we created those. There's so many more you could go. But that, is, again, is using those card bases. And then my current class that I have, it's open right now, is for our Creating for Christ. And this tutorial has already been posted. I post the tutorial for free for everybody. It's free every month. Um, we post it on our Creating for Christ Facebook group. So, um, but what, if you want the class and you want all the supplies sent to you, we do do the print work for you. And I printed on vellum this time. It's gorgeous. So this one, I actually turned the card inside out. How neat is that? So that one says blessed. Um, so these are all a part of our, and then inside there's, um, I had to put 
uh, scripture verses. So these are meant to be uplifting, supportive cards for people in your life. Um, this one, and now these three remain, faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these is love. I thought this would be a great wedding card. That's like one of the greatest scriptures based on love. Anyway, it looks so loved. So this is what our, um, this class is still available. You can actually order it now. I had to turn it off for a while. Oh, this one's Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. So these scripture verses, I also put on the Creating for Christ Facebook group for free as well. And they're already there under the file section. So here's one. I actually had this in mind um, for my daughter or for any, uh, you know, teenager, teenagers. I guess anybody really, but um, that that group really struggles, I think, with um, finding out finding who they are. Um, but it's about being you, and it says, "I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well." Psalm one thirty nine fourteen. God made us exactly exactly who we are. So those are all of those beautiful beautiful cards decorated on the inside and the outside. Um, that class is still available too. And if you're on my email list, um, I would, I have just emailed it out. And also on that Facebook group, there's a link for that. All right. So what I want to show you guys today, now that I got all of you here, is we're going to make a quick card. We're, we're going to be using the Sweet Strawberry Bundle. Uh, lots of you maybe own this, and a lot of you probably wanted to own it, but it was on back order for and unorderable for like six six months, maybe five months. Well, we can buy it now. It's back available again. So excited. I had to put it away. I'm going to put, we're going to do some strawberries and we're going to do some, but first, before I start the strawberries, these are the colors I'm using. We're going to be using polished pink, which is one of our new in colors. Super fun. Most strawberries aren't pink really. They're red or like a deeper red, but I like pink strawberries. And then we use granny apple green. And then we have some pool party. I'm going to start with my pool party and we're going to just do a quick little what I call a wash. So also we're going to use our new, um, I think these are called blending brushes or water. No, they're called water brush. They're water brushes. Blending brushes are the little spongy things. So these are the new water painters. Um, you're going to squeeze your pad together first. Creating a wash on the back of your card is super easy and it creates a beautiful background. So I just went ahead and squeezed. You see how now I pull up all this ink and then there's water that's already loaded. So talk about easy, mess-free um, paintbrush. This is good. So I just put a bunch of little bit of water in there and then I'm just going to do a light, what we call a wash on the back. You wanna make sure that you have you know, enough of it on your brush so that it just puts a nice, I need to get some more water on there. It's not quite enough. There we go. And then I'm just gonna wash it over the back. And I'm doing this first because I want, I need it to dry. There we go. And there's no right way or wrong way to do this. And it's the darker, the lighter is totally what you're, what you like, the look that you like. All right. So I'm just going to create that on the background. I'm going to let that set aside a little bit just so it dries. I'm actually going to set something on top of it. I'm going to set my strawberry punch on top of it because sometimes it can warp and I want it to stay flat as it's drying. So I just stick that over there. Now we got to, we got to stamp some strawberries. So we're going to be using this sweet strawberry. Now here's where I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek to a class that I am offering. It's very limited. I've been planning it for like months and months and months, but again, this wasn't available, so I couldn't do it. But during last celebration, uh, we were able to get this bundle right here. It's called a Berry Blessings bundle, and it had a stamp set called Berry Blessings. And it had this whole pack of awesome strawberry paper that goes with not only the Berry Blessings stamp set, but also the, the strawberry bundle, right? But you couldn't buy it. You could only get it for free. Well, the nature of my business is very unique where I put in a lot of orders, a lot of small orders. And so I was able to build up enough to get quite a few of those. So I have, but I can't sell them. They're only for free. 
So um, I have a class that I've designed and look at it. All these cards you're gonna make, isn't it so cool? And you're gonna make uh, note cards and full size cards and look, this fun uh, trifold card. So this paper, you're gonna get a whole pack of the paper, which um, if you got one pack, you probably wanted another, right? You're going to get the very blessing stamps that will be included. And then you're gonna, um, all the card stock will be cut for you. You're gonna get some gems. You're gonna get several different ribbons. Um, you're gonna get lots of fun, fun things to go with your class, right? So here's just some of them. This is the card that's inspiring. This is my favorite one. And then, oh, then this might be my favorite. I love that. Wait a minute. I think this one might be my favorite. Anyway, I, obviously I love the pinks. So this is gonna be the class. You have eight of them. And I believe it's $45, um, but you get this for free. Like the paper and the stamps that are free. You definitely, definitely are going to want to have the Strawberry Builder Punch at least. Well, of course I recommend getting the bundle. So you're gonna to wanna to have this bundle. So if you don't already own it, there'll be you can add it on so you can include it in your kit as well. Or if you already own it, then you won't need to add it on. So that is, I'm gonna post the link um, on this video after I'm done. But that's my really special class. I only have a limited number and I can't not get any more. So once it's sold out, it is sold out. So um, I will post it here on this, um, this uh, video after I'm done. I'll post that link and then I'll, I'll email it out later today when I get done doing some work. All right, we're gonna stamp some strawberries. The first thing I'm going to do is stamp, um, this is the polished pink. And I'm going to ink it up with the polished pink, but I don't want it to be quite so dark. So then that's where you take some scrap paper and you stamp it off a little bit. And then I'm going to stamp it on my card right over top of that wash. It's supposed to be light, that's normal. I need two more of those and I'm gonna stamp those off on just some scrap white paper. Stamp it off and then stamp it again, just like that, right? Now we're going to switch stamps. I put my dirty one aside and then go to the detail. So this is, I love two-step stamping. Two-step stamping was like when I very first began, you know, like I loved it because I'm not very patient to color. So this was always my favorite form of stamping. There you go. So now they look like strawberries, right? Now we finally have had some real looking strawberries. I do want to take, there is like um, kind of this leafy, leafy kind of thing. And I need that too. So I'm gonna take that. And this is gonna get stamped in that granny apple green. And I'm gonna line that up here. Let me put this scrap paper behind here. I'm just gonna line that up directly onto that piece of white too. By the way, this piece of white is two and a half by three and three quarters if you're wondering what that measurement is. So I'm gonna take this and I am going to just kind of um, line this up here. You're not gonna really see a whole lot of that, but just to put a little bit of those leaves up there. Meanwhile, I'm gonna do the same technique, but this is not for a wash. We're gonna do this for some coloring. You're gonna take that same little water brush, make sure it's clean so it's not blue. Now, if you just like drag it along, now it's clear. Now I can go into that green get our little messy piece away out of here. And then I'm just gonna add some um, green to these leaves. So you can use this water brush for coloring and you can use it for that wash look. Let's do it this way so you guys can see better. So we're just creating a pretty strawberry little watercolor look. You could color in those flowers. Let's do that. Whoops. Oh, I threw my top somewhere. Who knows where that went? I'll have to find that later. All right, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of that, oops, wrong direction. Ooh, look, I've never colored with this before. Look how pretty it is. It's so nice and white. Are you ready? We're gonna make it all not white anymore. There we go, that's how we're gonna color. So if you have these water painters and stamp pads, you can color just about anything, right? So I'm just gonna add a little bit of pink to these flowers, not a lot. And you're not gonna see them because the other strawberries are gonna cover them up. But just in case, we're gonna add just a little bit of pink to these flowers, just like that, a little bit. All right, now let's take go back to our strawberries. Oh, let's do one more thing since we have these stamp pads open. 
we want to create, there's like a little, um, a little oof, stem, that's it, it's a stem that goes on top of our strawberry. So I'm gonna stamp that with our granny apple green. And I'll put that on a different piece of scrap paper just in case. So I need, I need two that I'll punch out. And then one, I'm gonna punch this one out too. We're gonna punch out all of them. Okay, and then we're gonna go to our other one. This is like that, remember that background? Same thing. We're just gonna stamp that off and put that together. What's your guys, do you guys like, is two-step stamping your favorite form or have you never heard of it before? Or do you prefer to color? Like this is so you don't have to color. You know, you can just, it colors it for you automatically by just your stamping. So I love two-step stamping because it means I don't, you know, I'm not as patient to color. All right, so now let's punch out our strawberries here. And I got this going the wrong direction. So let's kind of turn this off. I knew it was gonna happen. Now I could just slide in here and we're gonna punch that strawberry. Yeah, mine has been used a lot. And this is actually thick paper too, so. I'll punch out that one. Now we're gonna go through here and punch out our little leaf. I did these a little wonky too. You guys all hanging in there with me? So I've, so here we go. Go punch this one. We're almost done. This is, look, and it makes such a mess. And then we'll have this one here. Oh gosh. Probably should turn that off. That's pretty good. I've got all these little pieces here. Let's get the ones that we need. When you're done using the strawberry builder punch, then you get a little mini vacuum and you vacuum everything up. A little hidden gem on there, by the way, is this little flower. I probably have used this flower more than I've used anything on this punch. It's a perfect size little flower that I just like to use a lot. All right, that, oh, I need one more of these little leaves. And then we can work on assembling this all together. All right, so come here. All right, let's punch that out, line that up. It actually lines up perfectly when you're patient. I'm not always so patient, so mine might not be perfect. All right, let's close, I'm gonna need that one still. Let's close up the rest of these so I don't make a absolute mess. Um, I'm also gonna stamp my words down there. And this one, you could use um, happy birthday, you sweet thing, or I'm gonna use that was so sweet of you, only because I already have one that says the other one. So I'm gonna use um, that was so sweet of you. Because I have a friend that I need to send a thank you card to, and this will be a perfect little thank you card. So it says, that was so sweet of you. And I'm gonna stamp that right on here and our polished pink. See, so cute. Now let's build up our little rest of our strawberries. Let's take our mini glue dots and add our stems. So I'll add this one to here, because that's a little janky. I didn't line it up so good. That one's gonna get covered up most anyway. These other ones, oh, are much better. I was, oh yeah, I was much more patient with those. If it doesn't line up, it's because I was just not being patient. I'm gonna pull that off the top of this strawberry. And we'll add that. So, you know, doesn't it look like a real strawberry? You know, do you love it in pink? Obviously, red or uh, poppy parade is actually the perfect strawberry color, poppy parade. And that's a lot in that berry blessings paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now I'm just gonna stick these on with some dimensionals. And I wish I had a wink of Stella up here because I think a strawberry needs to have a little sparkle, but it's all right. I don't, usually I have like four of them. All right, so we're just gonna add a few more little strawberries here to our card. Uh, there you go. And just like that. Um, Thank you so much. Hey, one more thing that I need, which I thought was in here, but it's not, is this scalloped contour white piece. I think um, there might be one, I don't know. I think, yeah, I think, I think it's in the other class we just did, but it's, 
Arlena. It's um, the same size as that soft sea foam one. All right, so we're gonna, Arlena's gonna do that. I thought that was up here, but I'm not seeing it. So we're gonna go, she's gonna run me that. But meanwhile, we are going to take, oh, she did bring me a wink of Stella, which obviously we're gonna add a little bit of wink of Stella to the strawberries. Then let me show you there, um, when the card's all put together, we're gonna do a little splatter with it too. So let's fold our card in half. So this is the, the this card base. This is what I'm talking about. I love this, um, these card bases. It has like a little, it's definitely a pool party, but to tell you the truth, it also goes with like mint macaron and it goes with, um, it goes with like a couple of blues. So you have some variety with it as well. All right, so we're, I'm just gonna take this beautiful polished pink, they call it open weave ribbon, and I'm gonna tie a bow, a beautiful bow. What's also nice about these card bases is they're bigger. They're four and a quarter by six and a quarter. So it definitely packs a punch when somebody gets it. You know, they're a little bit bigger and I actually love that about it. They're not the standard size, but in envelopes you don't have to worry about because it, it, look, it comes with these beautiful envelopes to be able to mail them in. So it comes with some pretty envelopes as well. So I'm just gonna tie that bow there, trim that off and then we're going to finish our card. Thank you so much. She brought me two of them just in case the other one was not perfect. All right, so of course I'm gonna take my favorite thing, the scalloped contours dies. And this piece is cut right to go inside. It's just two and a half by three and three quarters. Take your dimensionals and we're gonna pop that up to give this some dimension. All right, so for those of you who take all my classes, which I know lots of you are on here, take all my classes, I'm showcasing tons of product that is included in lots of my different classes. So the Memories and More card bases, the new strawberry class, this polished pink ribbon. So you're gonna have, this project will give you even more ideas of things that you can do with the product that you're getting in some of the other classes. So let's, take our adhesive, which I haven't even used yet, that's cool. And we're gonna glue this down to the front of our card. Oh, look how sweet it is. Oh my gosh, this card is so sweet. Oh, here is, here is a sample. And this one says, happy birthday, you sweet thing, which is really cool, right? Mine is saying, that was so sweet of you. And I put my bow on the other side. So the two things that's gonna finish this off perfectly is taking your Wink of Stella. And one thing that you can do is take one of your um, clear blocks. I'm gonna put this somewhere so it doesn't, here we go. One of your clear blocks. And you take your um, Wink of Stella and you're just gonna squeeze it a little bit, not a lot, cause you don't wanna waste it, but you need to get it flowing so that there's some Wink of Stella that pulls up. There you go, can you see that? So it pulls up on the clear block. And so I just, I, you wanna get your thing kind of nice and juicy. Now this does is a little messy, but then you're just gonna splatter this. Take your cap, oh, it's so cool. And it's that perfect little splatter. So, and you could do a, several cards with that little bit that you pulled up right there. But if you can see, there is now a really awesome splattering effect that just the perfect little glimmer across the card. So that's awesome. And then we're going to take the new, brand new gems in color jewels, these as well were on back order for a long time. You actually don't get that many. I think you only get 20 of each color, which is a lot, but I sometimes I'll use like that on a whole class. So this is one that is going to be included in a couple of my classes as well, because I feel like we need, we gotta like stock up on those babies. So I'm gonna just sprinkle on some of these polished pink jewels. Um, and this card is absolutely perfect and ready to go for a really sweet person in your life. All right, I'm bringing you back up here. Yay, my video didn't kick you guys off, so I'm super grateful, thank you God. I did pray, because um, my patience with technology is really this, this, like, so I'm ready to throw my phone against the wall. But I, 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 I won't, but I'm ready to. So anyway, here's our gorgeous card that we made, the hand-penned memories and more 
card bases is what you want for this. And they're so sweet and simple. And if you're just watching, you can go back through the video and I showed you bunches of more samples and ideas of things that you can do with it. Um, the Sweet Strawberry Bundle is back available. If you um, want, I have that incredible strawberry. It's a huge strawberry um, class that I'll be announcing in the next half an hour. I will post a link for you. And again, it's very limited. I only have so many because I'm including the paper and that stamp set for free. And so I only have so many of them already. Um, and everything else I can get, but that's gonna be. So anyway, so make sure you stay watched for that and so you can be one of the first ones. Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate you so much. You guys make my day and give me that little bit of break just to have fun because we work super hard here in the studio. We have fun together, but we work really hard. And so this is my little crafting break. So thanks for being here. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.